Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about my paper, uh, Temporal Conformity Aware Hoax uh, Graph Network for Recommendations. Uh, my name is Chong Long. I'm, I'm from the uh, MIT University. Uh, I will follow this outline to explain the motivation, uh, recommendation, uh, the research questions, and uh, our method. Uh, from the uh, beginning of the story, we all know recommended, uh, recommended systems provide uh, personalized recommendations to users by learning their interest from their behavior. Um, the, but their uh, basic assumption behind this is that users' decision is driven by their interests. So there is a strong connection between the behavior and the interest. However, this assumption does not always hold because users' decision can be influenced by others' opinions and then adjust their behavior to match those of other people or a group standards. We call it conformity behavior. And so this, kind of, uh, this bias can be influenced in the recommended system's performance. Uh, for example, during the pandemic, uh, we all know there are uh, panic buying phenomenon. There is a typical example to show people conform to the group and running into the shopping mall by a lot of the uh, products they don't necessarily need, like the toilet paper. Um, but this behavior is not uh, uh, driven by their uh, interest, but uh, the conformity to others' opinion. Um, to make this uh, diagram more concrete, I use this in example to explain this. From this graph uh, on the red part, and this showing the interaction uh, patterns between uh, users. And this, the square here is the uh, user's uh, interaction history and the, the latest the interaction. And the that, uh, dashed line represents the uh, relationship between different users in terms of their interaction pattern. From this graph, uh, we can see three uh, typical types of users. Uh, firstly, the user A, uh, if we check her interaction history, we can guess the, by this height highly due to their uh, self-interest. However, user B, uh, they may, uh, he may know um, little in information about this product, so they refer to the information from his neighbors and uh, make the final decision. Uh, uh, on the other hand, user C, by this height, uh, just because of the popularity of the height, so uh, she may not, uh, not want to, don't want to, uh, missing out or uh, just try to avoid the isolation and then make this decision. So we can see uh, from this, uh, from this uh, example, we can see three typical behavior. The first one is the self-interest, and the user B is showing, we call it informational conformity, and the user C is a normative conformity. Uh, I will explain them in the following slides. From this uh, example, we wonder what the factor can influence users' behavior and uh, what's the impact of the conformity bias in terms of the uh, recommended system or users. And uh, that the conformity behavior contains some positive or val valuable information can, be help the uh, can help the recommended system to generate better recommendations. So in our research question, we wonder how to utilize users' interest and conformity to generate better recommendations, and uh, how to disentangle users' interest and conformity in, in, in the interaction sequence, and uh, that the conformity behavior contains the valuable information for, recommendation, uh, for recommendations. And uh, we treat this problem in a dynamic way, and uh, we wonder how uh, that the conformity, uh, can the conformity transform into users' interest and how to model, model this kind of uh, evolution. In existing research, uh, we first learn the, uh, learn the concept of the conformity behavior in recommendations. Conformity behavior is when people follow group norms even if they, uh, they don't share the same uh, belief or interest uh, just like the panic, panic buying. The conformity in recommended system usually lead to the po popular popularity of the items. 
uh, and uh, there are two forms of conformity, uh, like this example showing U the B and U the C is informational conformity and a normative conformity. Informational conformity is when individual conforms to peers due to the lack of the relevant knowledge, like we, uh, like, uh, we plan to buy a car or house, we need to investigate uh, and collect uh, lots of information from, uh, our, uh, from other users with a similar interest or similar uh, budget or plan. Uh, uh, on the other hand, the normative conformity is individual conform to peers to avoid isolation or uh, don't want to miss out and uh, feel uncertain about the future. So they just try to imitate others and buy, uh, uh, make a safe choice. So uh, we extend the previous model to uh, like the, uh, this one, this diagram. We, uh, the user's decision, we believe that they contains the user's interest, uh, can be influenced by the user's interest and the uh, two forms of conformity. In existing research, uh, we uh, found that uh, the positive value of the conformity getting more attention. But the ex uh, most of the research uh, treat this problem in a static way. They just simply remove this conformity or, uh, uh, or uh, treat them uh, uh, separately with their interest. Uh, interest. But we want to uh, use the dynamic way to model the uh, relationship between uh, interest and the conformity. And the sequential recommendation is the uh, important uh, baseline in our model. Uh, so most of, uh, lots of research, uh, research use the uh, RN or uh, transformer or graph ne attention network based model. But there, uh, uh, most of research focuses on uh, accuracy only, um, but other metrics like diversity are o overlooked. Be, uh, according to our previous research, we found that during the pandemic, lots of models getting high accuracy because user is showing the similar interest and make uh, become predictable. So they just make uh, recommend the homogeneous recommendation. Uh, that's what uh, that's led the diversity score or other metrics uh, getting low. So. Uh, we identified this uh, research gap to, uh, to uh, uh, model the positive effect and uh, the dynamic evolution of the conformity, and also want to achieve the trade-off between the accuracy and diversity. So in our uh, method, the important um, theory is the Hawke's process. The assumption behind this uh, theory is the current interaction event have a positive or negative but warning influence on the future event. For example, in the left graph, uh, user's interest give the base intensity of the interaction event. And then this intensity will fade, fade away uh, over time until the next event arrives. And the next event have, can, be, can have a positive or negative influence on current interactions. Like the drink have a positive, uh, may have a uh, positive influence on the food interaction, but the uh, dress may have a negative influence on the uh, interaction on sweaters. Uh, and the, the typical hoax process take an uh, exponential uh, the King function to model the, uh, the, the intensity fade away, and the beta control the decay rate. So following this theory, we, uh, we think uh, in this model, the user's interest, uh, user's interest can be treated at the base intensity on the user's decision, and the conformity is uh, kind of influenced from others. So we treat that the alpha in this formula uh, to model the, uh, uh, model the uh, influence from peers. And in our model, uh, important, uh, we propose a temporal relative position encoding uh, uh, inspired uh, by the Hawkes process. In the typical sequential model, usually we model the uh, atom sequence into an embedding space. 
to enhance the uh, representations, we usually uh, model the position of the interactions. And uh, combine the position embedding, we can get uh, 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 um, more, uh, uh, more clear uh, relationship between each items. However, this, uh, this method have a drawback, like uh, for example, in, uh, if user A and user B both uh, interact with uh, this mouse at uh, the second interaction, if we check the previous uh, interaction, uh, the user A purchased the keyboard one day before, but the user B purchased the football one year before. So even the keyboard and the football uh, are both on, uh, is position one, but the in time span between these two uh, interactions are different. So we think it doesn't make sense to for the position one share the same bedding. And uh, the times, time uh, between the interaction contains more in, valuable information. So we discussed the, uh, the traditional position of the interaction and uh, proposed the temporal relative position. So we put the time into this uh, encoding. And following the uh, theory of the, of the Hawke's process, we map the times uh, time difference between the time, uh, interaction into uh, uh, inter interior space and uh, then further map them into the uh, uh, D-dimension uh, embedding space. So in this graph, we, uh, we further enhance the, the, this model to uh, this big one. And uh, this, this, uh, our model contains three important uh, components. And uh, the first one is the self-excitation modeling. So we put a, a user's own interaction into a, a construct them into a self-excitation graph and they use the temporal relative position encoding and, uh, and apply the graph attention network to learn the user's base intensity. And uh, we aggregate into uh, this in a sequence uh, sequence reference into a sequence embedding and uh, put uh, construct another user graph and by uh, aggregate the neighbor's information to the target target user's embed, uh, embedding. And the different uh, difference is the previous model is just user's own information, but here we integrate integrate user, user's neighbor's design information. So we got the informational conformity embedding. And the third one is the normative conformity embedding. Uh, so we uh, further integrate the recent popular items information into the, this graph and uh, apply the temporal relative position encoding to calculate, uh, to get a, a attention embedding to uh, treat them as the normative conformity. And finally, we put them into the prediction layer uh, according to the Hawke's uh, Cox progress uh, equation, and uh, we calculate the final uh, intensity score, treat them at the prediction score, and uh, uh, get to the final prediction and the recommendations. Uh, due to the time limit, I may uh, skip the uh, experiment, um, but I want to emphasize that uh, our model achieved the best uh, uh, accuracy and the diversity in the experiment, and also we uh, uh, obtain a uh, fairness between uh, on different user groups uh, in terms of the artist on popular items. Uh, okay, this, uh, I think that's all. Thank you.